A big announcement coming from Apple today. The company reportedly set to reveal its most significant product launch in nearly a decade, a virtual reality headset that's been in development for years. And joining us now from Cupertino is NBC News technology correspondent Jake Ward. Jake, what are these rumors about what this headset is? Well, Anna, if the rumors are true, then in about three hours, Tim Cook will take the stage and announce what is supposed to be a mixed reality headset. That's one in which you could both see through it and see whatever it is that it shows you. Of course, uh, anticipation is very hot for what that might be. Apple has a long history of inventing whole categories of interest, and the hope on the part of the company here seems to be that this headset can get that done. Of course, this is going to be a several thousand dollar headset. That's what the rumor is as compared to rival Meta, whose Oculus headset costs really only a few hundred dollars, and so uh, really a, a fight brewing between those two giants, Anna. And so why? Why is Apple getting into this business, given its rival Meta has been leading for a while now? And as you point out, Meta offers an option that's so much less expensive. Well, the theory here seems to be on the part of analysts that the company is trying to invent a whole new category, right? It invented iTunes and digital music. It invented the app economy with the smartphone. It invented the iPhone itself, and it still sells eight out of ten of the top-selling smartphones in the world. But every other product category, Anna, has fallen off, has declined in recent years, and it seems to be looking for a new hit. The question here, of course, is whether this is the market to go for. Uh, Apple sells about 200 million iPhones phones every year. The total market for headsets, and that includes those made by all companies, is less than 9 million right now. So it's not even clear that this is a market, but if it becomes one, Apple seems determined to be the leader and hopefully establish a new revolutionary category as they've been known to do in the past. So this virtual reality headset, would that be in the same category as AI or is this something different? Why would they be investing virtual reality versus AI? Well, the idea here in theory is that you could experience the world in a whole new way. You could overlay all sorts of displays and information on top of the world that you top of the world that you experience every But of course, it's not at all clear that people really need that. People have talked about the lack of a killer app when it comes to virtual reality and mixed reality. That means something that is invaluable, irreplaceable, and daily use, right? Something we would actually come back to again and again in the same way we're glued to our phones. No one's figured out how to glue us to these sorts of heads. Sets. It seems that Apple is going to be trying to figure that out and perhaps at today's announcement on it. Yeah, we can all transport ourselves to different places instead of having to physically be there. Thank you so much, Jake Ward.